Part 4 of Lecture Review for Chapter 21 is the final review. Sometimes we have special challenges in hair color, and these are called corrective solutions. Gray, white, and salt and pepper hair all have characteristics that represent unique coloring challenges. There can be yellowed hair. This can be from smoking, medication, sun exposure, and some styling aids. When you're formulating for gray hair, level eight or lighter may not give complete coverage. Level seven or darker can be used to create pastel and blonde tones. For 80 to 100% natural gray, blonde is more flattering than darker tones. If you're coloring salt and pepper hair to darker color on color, will make the darker shade look much darker. Other considerations when formulating for gray hair is the client's personality, their personal preference, and the amount and the location of gray hair. We have some tips for achieving gray coverage. Use 20 volume developer, process color for the full 45 minutes, and if neutral, add neutral to the formula. If the person has 25% gray hair, use 25% neutral color. If it's 50% gray, use 50% natural. And if it's 75% gray, use 75% neutral. Sometimes you have to apply pre-softener to resistant areas. You would process that for 15 minutes referring to your manufacturer's directions. Blot pre-softener off with a towel and then apply the final color formulation and process according to instructions. There are all kinds of rules for effective color correction. Number one, do not panic. Determine what your true problem is. Determine what caused the problem and develop a solution. Take one step at a time and never guarantee results. Always strand test for accuracy. If the hair is damaged, characteristics of damaged hair will be rough texture, over porous condition, brittle and dry to the touch, susceptible to breakage, has no elastics, elasticity, can be spongy or matted when wet, and the color fades or it absorbs entirely too fast. There are types of treatments that you can do for damaged hair. You can use penetrating conditioner, normalize the pH with finishing rinses, postpone further chemical services, perform between service conditioning, and recommend retail products for them to use at home. There are two different types of fillers available. We have conditioning fillers used to recondition damage over porous hair, and we have color fillers which are used to equalize porosity and deposit color in one application. In using color fillers, we can deposit color to faded ends. We help hair, it helps the hair hold the color, prevents streaking and dullness, prevents off color results, produces a more uniform color, and produces more uniform color when the hair back to its natural level. When you're selecting color fillers, remember to you have to replace the missing primary color. Remember our primary colors are yellow, red, and blue. You want to apply directly to the hair or mix with hair color and apply to the damaged ends. Tips for redheads, use red-orange base to create warm coppery reds. Use a red-violet for hot, fiery reds. Use no lift, deposit only color if you're just refreshing. If gray is present, remember to add one half to one ounce of a natural color. And you can refresh with a soap cap if you need to brighten the color. Tips for brunettes would be to use a cool blue base to avoid brassy tones. Do not lighten more than two levels above the natural color to avoid brassy tones. Add one ounce of natural color to cover gray, and natural highlights should be deep or caramel colored. 
tips for blondes are watching out for underlying unwanted warm tones when lightening from brown to blonde. Use level seven or darker to cover gray. Get light pale blonde by double processing. If using high lift blondes to only five levels, result can be warm and brassy. If highlights become too blonde, remember you can add low lights for more natural color. You want to be able to refresh faded color by applying a demi-permanent hair color within two levels of the formula and process for 10 minutes. If it has a green cast, remove the buildup and use color to neutralize the unwanted color. Overall color is too light. Apply no lift deposit only color that is one to two levels darker. If your overall color is too dark, apply a hair color remover for 10 minutes and check. If level six, soften new growth with level six violet based and 20 volume developer and process 20 minutes. If the hair is level seven, soften new growth with level eight light blonde violet base and process 20 with 20 volume developer for 20 minutes. If you're restoring blonde to its natural hair color, remember to apply no lift deposit only glaze with one ounce level eight light neutral blonde and one ounce level nine very light red orange base and process for 20 minutes. Do not apply to the new growth. Mix a no lift deposit only glaze with one half ounce of level six dark neutral blonde and a half ounce level four light gold blonde. You want to make sure that you understand safety precautions in hair coloring. Always administer a patch test to make sure that your client is not allergic to the product. Do not apply if a abrasions are present. Do not apply if the client has metallic or compound tint on their hair. Never brush the hair prior to the service. Read and follow all your manufacturer's directions and guidelines. Use disinfected applicators and tools. Drape your client properly. Perform the strand test using glass or plastic bowl or plastic bottle to mix the product. Do not mix the hair color product until you need to use it and wear protective gloves. Do not let color get into the eyes of your client. Do not overlap the product during a retouch. Use mild acid balanced shampoos to remove the color. Always wash your hands before and after serving each client. So to review and summarize, Hair Color offers you the opportunity to exercise your creative talent and to bring great pleasure to your client. Enjoy your work, but most of all, enjoy and appreciate learning now and to keep learning in the future. Hair Color technique, fashions, and formulations are constantly changing. Professionals who specialize in hair color must constantly learn new techniques to keep up with those challenges.